It's only one of six programs at community colleges across the states. Tonight, TV6's Dan Giroux has an up-close look at the new Corrections Officer Training Academy at Bay College in Escanaba. The first group of corrections officer trainees at Bay College is five weeks into the eight-week program. While the course is only eight weeks long, there's still a lot that gets packed into the course. We have defensive tactics going on right now, so that's the most interesting. Uh, we had first aid, CPR, much more book work, but the last few weeks is going to be more hands-on. Ready, go! A big part of the course revolves around hands-on work, and rightfully so. Today the students were working on defensive tactics that may be needed in case an inmate becomes aggressive or uncooperative. You have to be prepared to go into work when you get there. Uh, you have to be prepared to protect yourself and protect other people and be ready to go on the job when you get there. Trainees that complete the program do not receive a degree but are eligible to complete the final 80 hours of on-the-job training with the Michigan Department of Corrections and are highly encouraged to continue their college career. Even though the program is just being launched at Bay College, Dunn does not consider his program to be any weaker than others across the state. Well, I think we're the best. They all had to have college to get here, 15 hours of credit, and if they're going to continue, they need to continue their education so they can further themselves in their careers, you know, because a lot of the jobs require a college degree. The next program will be a 10-week course that will be offered on the weekend starting January 9th so that students won't have to quit their day job. Registration for the next course begins on November 3rd. In Escanaba, Dan Giroux, TV6 News.